Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan Poopery, um, and I want to show you guys how you can load this uh, example data um, that's a text file and how you can load it in Excel to do an, the analysis. So right now it's just a text file. I've already downloaded it. Uh, I have it in my downloads directory. So I can show you in like Notepad, it'll open up and you can see it just has all the data that we need to analyze, but we need to do this in Excel. So you need to start Excel first, do a blank workbook, and then we're going to open a new workbook and you got to go to browse so that you can find this right and so we put this in downloads and it says there's nothing there right because it's looking for only excel files so you have to change this to either all files or text files i'll just change it to all files and now we can select and open it and it will give us some uh, options for opening this main thing we want to make sure it says delimited so that means that tabs are separating each field and for this file we can just go through this and you can see if we scroll down that it is going to correctly separate those values out for us. And we just hit finish on this and load it in Excel. And there you go. We have our data that we can analyze all in its own uh, cells. And now when you save this, you're going to want to save it as an Excel file. Because if I just hit save, it's going to save it back as a text file. So any math or anything you did in Excel is not going to save. So you're going to make sure you go to file and save as. And again, it's going to default to like text, but just change that to Excel workbook and you save it as an Excel file. That way it'll save any math equations or graphs you put on here as well. All right. So good luck doing this and we'll talk about it in class next time.